We're very happy to have our next guest join us here at Bimbo's 365 in San Francisco. Their latest album is called The Weather. Jay and Nick from Pond. Hello. Thank you so much for your time. No worries. Thanks for having us. <laughs> uh, Jay, it hasn't been too long since you've been to San Francisco. I was here like a month ago. Yeah, yeah. exactly, with your other like outfit. Independent. Yeah. 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 Playing Come. solo. That's yeah, right. it was fun. You had a new album with them, and it's kind of like all incestuous with you guys. So, sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, congrats on the release of uh, you know your new works oh, thanks, there. Man. Well, that one that's not so that's kind of incestuous with myself. Right, I right. don't know what that means. Like well, a, like a slug. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are in so many different projects, so many different bands. I guess that it's like hard to keep track of you guys. Sure, so. yeah. But uh, welcome back. And, yeah, uh, man, I love San Fran. You guys have been on the road for quite some time supporting this album. Uh, yeah. You have been, I guess, geez, late 2016 into all of last year. You played your very first Coachella. We kind of just fit it in when we can around the other bands. So, like, it's been a long time since the album came out, but um, there were lots of breaks, you know. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Whenever there's a decent kind of space in the calendar, we try and, like, get over here or get to Europe or South America or something, you know. Right. Just and, and keep it going. I think there's like there's going to be a new record coming out hopefully later this year, um, and then we can just kind of keep coming, you know. Hello, San Francisco. You guys are good. For this particular album, there's been a lot of great words written about it, and I'm digging it. I know a lot of people, fans are digging it, and those oh, kind of sure, things, yeah. right? And, it, and the one thing that stands out is that it kind of veers in a different direction uh, next evolution so to speak of pond where it's it's the more of a mature sound it's a different sound than they're used to sure yeah so for this new material that you just got mastered yeah, yeah. is that an extension a continuation of that or they're yeah, more kind new of sounds? yeah i think so i like it because i think it's the most like um like modern sounding thing we've done and like i think the last one was the i mean it still sounds like lots of bits and pieces of older music but I think it didn't, the last one wasn't, it sounded kind of more like us, you know, and this one's even more like us mm -hmm. rather than like, you know, the craft work there and David Bowie there yeah. or whatever, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. like, yeah, I've, I think that's the, that's the, that's the journey of being, of, of like creativity is slowly whittling down all the like, all the really, um, you know, referential stuff into eventually just kind of expressing yourself a bit more purely and honestly because when you first start you just kind of like imitating you know what your favorite thing is and then over time you get better at like expressing what's actually personal mm -hmm. so that's just what where it's going i guess slowly maybe when we're like geriatric <laughs> old fools will get something that's like a pure thing on the the plate for this year you're also playing the treasure island music festival yeah. october yet yeah, okay and cool. the one note that people will see is that oh yeah tame and paul is also playing sure yeah and i hate to bring it up because i know people are like oh only talk about pond don't don't talk about tame and paula don't it's you know etc but work. like I, as i talked earlier it's kind of incestuous you guys tour with kevin sure, uh, with yeah. his project kevin is hanging out with you guys you use yeah. the studio yeah, uh, those kind of things. So now that you're on the same bill, uh, or have you played on the same bill before? Yeah, we've done a yeah. few. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like financially and logistically um, clever, a, a clever <laughs> to some extent. You know, yeah. it's like a couple of less flights for the crew and like me and Joe and you know what I mean. Right, makes right. sense sometimes. With that particular lineup, it's it's obviously going to be exciting for people, and they are always wondering what kind of things that, uh, special that you may have planned. Is that something that you guys think about, uh, have done before? I don't know that we ever do anything <laughs> different, <laughs> different for the festival rather than the headline. If our fr yeah. sometimes if our friends are there, we'll like we have lots of bits in the set where like we can bring people up on stage. Mm -hmm. Like if we have friends that other singers or like people who play guitar or saxophone or whatever yeah so if there's so i'll look at the lineup and if like some of our friends are there we can bring them up and if lil b is around I, i'll get him is he up. playing it is he i don't know but oh. he's a bay area guy no. you're a fan lil b if you're watching i love you would you consider a collaboration you, you, you could sneak definitely. in definitely uh... i would 
uh, more than considerate. Okay. Well, we're here in the Bay. We'll work on it for the next four yeah, months. Yeah, please do. Before I'm October. I'm going to put out my, um, my bass feelers. Your little bass, <laughs> bass god uh, vibes <laughs> out there. Any other hip hop that you're into? Lots, yeah. Lots. Yeah. <laughs> And can we expect hip hop uh, influences on the new album? I mean, we're not gonna be, we're not gonna be throwing down. There's no rapping. hot bars because yeah. that would be. I think the last <laughs> one offensive to everyone listening. I think the last one even the last one already had little bits in there. You can hear like, like I think what a lot of the time people hear is like, um, as like funk tempo or something is us doing like our. Break beats, you know, or like us doing our version of Diller or the Avalanches or something. Yeah, mm. I, I but, think to, but because it's us, people are like, oh yeah, it's like a funk yeah. beat or something. We're like, no, nah, that's like pretty much a hip hop beat. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, I've been more influenced by by hip hop stuff for. I mean, I think a lot of us have for a couple of years now. It's just that um, when it goes through the you know the filter of our recording techniques and our playing or whatever and then it comes out and then someone someone will write up like another psychedelic vintage journey from pond you know? right it's right like, right i was only listening to dilla before this so <laughs> whatever you know i think the new one it's more obvious it's more what it's more obvious it's more obvious like, i think that's like an 808 on like almost every song sort of thing you know yeah mm. but it's but it's not it's not like it's not like trap beats. It's like our weird version of it, you know? Yeah, we don't want to just... Blatantly... You don't want to ape it. Do, yeah. right. do yeah. that. It's yeah, just yeah. that this is the sort of sounds we enjoy yeah. more. It just is more pleasing to me than hearing like um, Purple Haze or whatever. Well, well, gosh, we're looking forward to the set tonight. Thanks cool. for having us, Thanks man. Yeah. yeah, and appreciate your time. Thank you. It's it's a pleasure. It's uh, Jay and Nick us. from Pond, The Weather, their latest album. You're watching B-Sides on Air. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. You're very kind.